Matthew here at BathtubRenew.com, powered by Liquid Porcelain Technologies, and I'm here to shoot a video about a sink and a tub and how not to do it. Check this out. Here we are. He hired a handyman two weeks ago to paint his sink and paint the tub. What could possibly be wrong with this? Well, like I said, it was done two weeks ago. See my finger? Still wet. Still wet from two weeks ago. And when I asked the homeowner what they put on it, he said this was the stuff that he brought in and he put on it. Yep, and if we touch the top of the can here, still wet too. Well, what happened? Well, see where it says part A? Well, there's a part B that goes with this, and that's your hardener. So this is just the resin. I don't know why they call this part A activator. Maybe there's another part to it, but that's what he put on. I shouldn't say he, because I'm not really sure, but that's this person put this on with that, and it's never going to dry. We're two weeks later. He had little space heaters blowing on this on each side. They were over here, they were over here, and they were blowing on it, and they had it like that for a couple of days, and they can't understand why it's not gonna, it's not drying. Well, it's never going to dry, especially when you do something like this. So what do we do? We are going to have to remove this with probably some type of solvent. Tubs the same way. It looks terrible. It's just, look, 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 look. <laughs> Two weeks later. I get these every once in a while people try to do this. Guys. It's just easier to hire a pro. Make sure they got good reviews. Make sure they've been in business for a while. Make sure they understand coatings. That's it. Let's get going. So we're getting ready to wash this stuff off now. I sort of washed off the front. But if you notice, sort of washing off the front, basically lacquer thinners, some recycled grade lacquer thinners takes it off fine. But if you notice in here, and this has been on for two weeks, it's never going to dry, never. You see my paper towel here. It's like it was put on five minutes ago. So, use these ones. They have bag on these like $10 or $15. And I use these to wipe on my bonding agent when I'm doing large jobs, like a big tub and tile job like this. I would use these to wipe on the bonding agent, but that's why I have lots of them. Just getting this one ready. Cindy works too fast. She's a master taper. Did you get it done? No. There's still a lot more. What? What's a lot more? Tap. It's what? Tap. Oh yeah, okay, we'll need to tape the tap. So now it's my turn to wash this off. And I'm just using a respirator like this, gloves. Got my fan going right here, sucks everything out, so. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get all this done. And there's, there's nothing really wrong with the tub. I just don't think they like the color of it. This is why it's so crucial to hire people that know what they're doing. Or you get a mess like this. We are all brand new, and look at this. You can touch it, nothing comes off on your hand. Wow, look at that, awesome.
Beautiful, all brand new. Let's see how our sink turned out. Beautiful, all brand new. Look at that. You can touch it. That's what's really cool about using polyurethane resins. You can push them super fast. And uh, they look awesome. Stay white forever. It's better than epoxy that has a mean blushing all the time on it. Or in this guy's case, it wouldn't even dry. But that's it. We're all brand new. We'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.